Hi guys, this is Jason with uh, Smoking Eagles Rod Shop coming to you from my home garage here in Napanee, Indiana. Hey, we got that VR6 in there. It's looking real good. I like how that looks. Uh, today we're going to bolt some stuff up to it so that we can kind of mock it up a little bit. So uh, I have a radiator, I have an intake have a crack pipe, have a, 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 a thermostat housing. I got a, a swirler can for the coolant. Uh, it's kind of important that I get all those in there and kind of in the way. And then that'll give me a kind of a path of where I'm gonna go run my ECU harness. Um, yeah, I think I got an alternator. Yeah, I gotta get the alternator on too. Gotta find an alternator bracket. Uh, I also have uh, an exhaust pipe. So maybe I can find a couple exhaust manifolds so that I can then put that exhaust pipe on there. And that should give me just about all of my, um, all of my sensors that I'm gonna need to connect to and then I can get on that wiring of an ECU, which is gonna take a bit, but hey, I've been here, I've done that before, not a big deal. So, um, kind of dragging today. I'm a little tired, kind of, kind of overdid it this weekend. <laughs> but hey, you know, you get excited doing something like putting the VR6 in, so just make it happen. I'm gonna put you up on time lapse and uh, see what I can get done on this engine bay. I mean, it's probably not the right way to make that happen, but you know, if you wanna shorten that bracket up just for the alternator, it does a pretty good job of uh, cutting that. That's actually a, a non-ferrous um, cutting blade. So, you know, the only portion I need is this little portion for the alternator. And I think it does a pretty good job of just cutting that right off there. Uh, what do you think? How much of a bad idea is that? <laughs> Okay guys, this is a cool little tool. Um, it's a little bitty ratchet, but it takes the quarter inch square bits, and then you can just go find some Milwaukee uh, metric sockets. And essentially that thing will get right in there. I mean, it'll get in places where you would be left with an Allen head, and it just does the job just beautifully. Uh, this is one of these this is one of these tools that you're probably going to need if you're going to work on Volkswagens. And the cool part about this thing is is if you need to put a little extra oomph on it, it's got a quarter inch ratchet down below and you can literally just extensoid it and go. But uh, but get you one of these little guys. They're really cool. Uh, they're ultra thin. And then you can just get a set of those, uh, those bits, those quarter inch drive bits. And um, it'll save you a lot of uh, headache, especially on these Volkswagens. There's always Allens in very tight spots. So yeah, highly recommend one of these. Pretty cool. Oh, it goes both ways too.
Okay, guys, we got a lot of stuff mounted up in there. We got a radiator in there. We got a Schmiel Performance um, short runner intake. Got the adapter plate that me and Dustin made uh, last winter. Got a throttle body. Um, I like using these throttle bodies other than the, uh, the what is it, ODB2s. Um, this has a, this is a Ford throttle body. And then this has a Wilson manifold adapter to go to a GM or a, uh, just a, you know, it's a pretty common IAC valve. And then down here is a Ford, uh, throttle position, position sensor, TPS. Um, those work really well with the, uh, with the ECU that I'm running. Cause I'm running a Holly and then, um, just some, some fuel injector clinic injectors got a new uh alternator down there new tensioner i need to get a crank pulley and a water pump pulley i do have a s p automotive um radiator that's a really slick unit that's really going to help out i don't know if i could have figured that out on my own uh, it's also got the s p automotive uh swirler thing uh, you can find those guys at uh, VW Search and Rescue. Um, in fact, uh, the majority of what you're looking at is either S&P Automotive, uh, the mounts, or it's uh, Schmiel Performance with the engine, with the uh, that, that, all that stuff down there for the oil. Um, yeah, between those two sites, you can make a pretty mean little VR6 in a Mark One. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't find some exhaust manifolds and get those on there. Uh, I have a, a two into one uh, 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 exhaust. I'm going to see if I can't get that on too. I think that'd be a good stopping point for the day. I mean, I think that looks pretty good. Just all shoehorned in there. Um, yeah. I'm going to go see if I can find those now Well, guys that went on uh super easy um yeah that's all down there uh it's just mocked up yep there's bolts missing i know um but i think that looks pretty good i think that looks pretty good for the day you know that big old radiator in there got my oil pump, my oil cooler, my water housing, a little swirler tank, um, my throttle body. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good spot to stop for the day. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, sweet, I'm so stoked on that. That looks so awesome. Wow, guys, that's a pretty good day's worth of work. Um, only took stuff off a couple of times that I had put on. So uh, I'm gonna call that a win. I got the motor in, I got the intake on, I got the exhaust on. I got all of the uh, coolant system in. Uh, I have everything on the front of it that's gonna need a belt. Uh, just the alternator. Uh, yeah, that's, that's rocking and rolling, man. Um, I should be able to start up on that wiring harness now. I'm gonna have to throw some sensors in it. I have to pick a spot for my ECU, and then I should be able to start throwing uh, some wires in there and some connectors for the engine, and uh, see if I can't get the engine all hooked up. Uh, there's a couple little things like the radiator mount. I need to address that. Uh, that's not exactly how I want it at the minute. It needs to be stabilized up a little bit, but you know, uh, it is what it is. There's always a million little things. Uh, you can get a lot of it done really quickly with that. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and um, pick up and put away some tools. I got some uh, trash laying around. I need to I need to clean up and get that in the trash can. Uh, trash does go out today, so I need to get that trash can out to the trash. And uh, I need to get this little motor and transmission in the bed of my truck. So um, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'll probably just take my engine hoist out and hoist that into the truck. And then uh, I'm gonna go over to Dustin's. Uh, I'm gonna go over to Dustin's, go over to Smoking Eagles Rod Shop HQ and um, see what he's up to today. Dump off some scrap, hang out with my buddy and uh, see what trouble we can get into over there. See what we're up to over there. Um, yeah. Yeah, good day. Another good day in the garage. Um, I'm going to put you on time lapse, clean these tools up, clean my bench up, okay? Well, I didn't take that long. Uh, it gets easier. You just do it every day. Just put your tools away. Make your bed. Uh, it's important. Do the little things. Do them right. Uh, it'll help you out in life. Um, yeah. I think that's it for the day, guys. Uh, until then. Yeah, until then. See you around.